presented by Hannaford. and Christy. Boy, you know, uh, coronavirus has, has done a lot for like different shows on TV. They're they're adapting things. They're amending things. Things are just different. Mm -hmm. I, I, you don't watch This Is Us, I'm told. No. You have to start. If I you know. Want to I have cry, to. I you know, have to. It's just what we all like to do. I but need they a good wear, cleanse. They have masks in the present day, and then there's other shows that it's become part of the plot. Like Grey's Anatomy is it's huge this season mm -hmm. with uh, COVID, but. Do you ever wonder what's on TV when we're on TV? I do. Yeah? You know what? Do you, do you ever check it out? We should right now. Let's just check. Hold, okay. Excuse me. Sure. In the center square, Bill Green. From Portland Radio, the Q Morning Show. From the main CDC, Dr. Neerab Shah. From the northwest corner, Carrie Morgan. From the stand-up stage, Mark Turka. From the Bangor Police Department, the Duck of Justice. From the second floor of the main state house, Governor Janet Mills. From Moody's Diner and Down East Maine, Tim Sample. And me, I'm Jeff Gilligan Talk, and this is Cat Walls from the Box of Oddities. And we are the Pandemic Main Square. And now, here's your host, John Davidson. Welcome to the Pandemic Main Square. Hello, stars. Hi, Hi John. John. So, let's get right to the game. Christy is X. And Dan is O. Each game is worth a case of toilet paper, which will be necessary in case people start hoarding again. To win, you must get three squares in a row, you know, up or down, across or diagonal. The winner gets a special prize at the end. Christy, you're the more likable of our two squares, so uh, why don't you begin? I'll take our center square, Bill Green, please. Well, Bill, you know, you're not the most famous green on television. No, Kermit the Frog was quite popular as well. He even had a big record, big hit single called It's Not Easy Being Green. Your question, Bill, is what was Kermit the Frog's second big hit record? Was it Who Let the Frogs Out? <laughs> Rainbow, rainbow, somewhere over the rainbow. Final answer. I disagree. X gets the square. Very good, Christy. Kermit's second hit record was Rainbow Christian. Why are there so many songs about rainbows? That's my Kermit the Frog impression. All right, over to you, Dan. Your choice. I'm going with Dr. Nariv Shah. Aha, uh -huh. the director of the main CDC, most popular thing on the internet, Dr. Shah. Here's your question. You've proven yourself to be an expert on COVID-19, but in what game does the number 19 mean that you really have zero? Hmm, I'm not sure, but zero and 19 sounds a lot like last year's record for the New York Jets. Tennis. I disagree. Circle gets a square. It's the game of cribbage. Christy, you're up. I'd like the Duck of Justice, please. The Duck of Justice. Actually, uh, Christy, uh, the duck doesn't really talk. We just so we just stuck him in a square. We didn't think anybody really call him. We didn't even get permission to have him on the show. It was a mistake that. Dan made, but uh, we didn't think anybody call him. So uh, X gets a square. Dan, you're up. I'll take uh, Governor Mills for the block. The governor of the great state of Maine, Janet Mills. Governor Mills, you've done a ton of virtual press conferences all this year. It's been very busy, very busy year, and you've handled it very well. Question is, what is the most common phrase used on virtual press conferences in Maine this year. Governor, uh, you are on mute. I agree. That's correct. You know, I've seen those press conferences and you're right. People are always forgetting. Oh no, we've lost Karen's signal. Karen's cut out. So we only have eight squares. So it doesn't really make it a a tic-tac-toe board anymore. <laughs> Congratulations, Cashman. Now that Karen is gone, you moved up to being the 11th funniest person here. <laughs> awesome. 
Uh, Christy, your turn. Um, I guess Tim Sample for the win? No, 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 no. On my screen, it shows that you need us to win. Well, now, on the official squares, it shows that Tim Sample will give you three squares that sort of touch. So. Well, that's like us. We're three squares and we kind of touch each other. I don't think that's okay to say. <laughs> Tim, here's your question. Mainers love Tim Sample, but they also love free samples at Sam's Club. True or false? Sam's Club temporarily discontinued samples last year uh, because of the coronavirus. Maybe that's why they looked at me so weird when I started gnawing on the edge of that big screen TV. <laughs> now, I know this for a fact because I had a hot pocket there yesterday. That's false. I agree. No, this is true. So that explains why it was still frozen. Dan, your pick. Uh, I, I'll go with uh, Death Row and Cat, I, I think, for the win. From Box of Oddity, this is Death Row and Cat. Another famous Death Row, Death Row Tall, formed in what year? Oh, geez. I don't know. Um, Kat, how long have I had this Jethro Tull? Uh, just a couple of weeks. Bruce, Bruce Poliquin? Am I too late to play? I got him as quickly as I could. You know, I tried running over here. It took me three times before I made it. You know what we really need? We need Where's a really good job. Who is sick of Zoom calls? I am! I am. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm John Davidson. We'll see you next time.